These are the times that try teacher souls. In the course of our nation's history, educators have rallied bravely whenever the rights of students and teachers have been threatened. Today, a new crisis has arisen. The New York State Education Department, better known as the SED, has attempted to exert more control over teachers by enacting a testing policy through which teacher quality is based on student standardized test score results. Furthermore, the SED has issued a gag rule which prohibits teachers from discussing the test questions after the exam with the students, teachers, or administrators. Educators, this is happening to you. Let me tell you a story about a teacher named Charlie. It was a tragic and painful day. He picked up his test that he gave to his students. He went to challenge the SED. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may stay forever in that SED office. He's a teacher. Charlie handed in his test at the SED office, and he asked for Commissioner King. Charlie said that he talked to his students about the testing. King held him at the SED. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may stay forever. He's a teacher who never returns. Now all night long, Charlie roams through that office, crying, Well, who would have become of me? How can I teach about the things kids love, like music and astronomy? His fate is still unlearned. He may stay forever in that SED office. He's a teacher who never returns. Now, Charlie's students go down to the SED building every day at quarter past two. Now, through the open window, they say, Charlie, we love you. He is. I get you little bastards too. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may stay forever in that SED office. He's the teacher who never returned. Now you people, don't you think it's a Teachers are forced to be. Let's get Diane Ravitch on the Board of Regents. Every Charlie from the SED. Will he ever return? Yes, he's gonna return. If we get our voices heard. Oh, he'll stay forever in that SED office and be the teacher who never. Yes, every day there are more states holding more teachers like Charlie hostage, preventing them from engaging students in the kind of teaching and learning that, that brings joy to the classroom and, and results in students developing the skills and creative creativity and critical thinking and writing and and the values of empathy and skepticism that are so critical for a democratic society. Isn't it time for all, for all of us who are frustrated with the corporate and political takeover of our public schools to step up and, and assertively oppose those, those policies that are 
harming our students. I know Charlie and his students would appreciate it. Thank you.